Welcome back Syracuse Math Kitties. In today's video, I'm going to be doing one of your math problems from your math packet that was sent home. On this page, you're at being asked to find a slope from two points. You're given slope formula and you're given a set of six ordered pairs. So you can see here, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this by using these two ordered pairs right here. So before we proceed, let's just review what it is that we know. From our previous videos, we have said that the, an ordered pair is a set of x and y coordinates, and it's represented in parentheses like this. The first number in the parentheses represents what? That's right, it represents the x coordinate. And the second number in the parentheses represents what? The y coordinate, right? So we have here, we have the one set of x and y coordinates is called an ordered pair. Here it is in parentheses. And our second ordered pair is right here, the negative 6, negative 4. The negative 6 is our x coordinate and negative 4 is our y coordinate. So here, looking at this, slope formula what we know is that m stands for slope and slope is equal to rise over run which is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 but how do we know what is y2 y1 x2 x1 well the the two represents the the y2 is your second y coordinate y1 is your first y coordinate and same thing x2 is your first second x coordinate and x1 is your first y um, x coordinate so here if you look at it here's your first ordered pair so that would be your first um you know negative four would be your x1 and seven would be your y1 and then here you have your second ordered pair. The negative 6 is your second x coordinate. In other words, it is this number right here, x2. And negative 4 is your second y coordinate or y2. What you're doing here is you're trying to find a difference. So a difference between this number right here and this number right here and the difference between this number here and this number here so i'm going to show this to you on a graphing paper just so you can kind of get a sense of what all of this means all right you're not for these problems you're not you're not required to draw uh, a graph and you know plot these points but for sake of demonstration and showing you what this means i want i want to show you on the graphing paper all right so here we have our graphing paper i'm going to just write out our two ordered pairs our first ordered pair is negative four seven <clears throat> excuse me so our first ordered pair is negative four seven so that is our x1 and y1. Hold on. x1 and y1. Actually, let me use a little bit thinner pen here just so that it's a little more visible, a little bit more neat. All right, so first ordered pair is negative 4, 7. So negative 4, 7. The first number is our x1 our second number is our y1 okay. our second ordered pair is negative 6 negative 4 so negative 6 negative 4 this is our second ordered pair this is our x2 and this is our y2 okay so let's plot these. I'm going to plot our first ordered pair first. I'm going to just increase this 
so you guys can see a little bit better all right so let's see x1 is negative 4 so 1 2 3 right here 1 2 3 4 and y7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is where our first point is and why is it gray i want a different color hold on i want it to be blue okay so here okay so there's our first point first ordered pair now our second ordered pair is negative six negative four so x two is negative six so one two three four five six negative four one two three four so there's our second point okay we could technically speaking we could draw a line between these these two points i'm going to do that let me do a different color so you guys can kind of see it how about green all right let's do green now my line i'm gonna try my best to make it a straight line but okay as you guys can see it's kind of crooked but you get the point let me well let me try let me try a little bit better here okay let me try okay my line uh, okay this is not any better than the previous line but my point is this line is supposed to be straight all right so if you were to connect these two points you will get a line and finding a slope is basically finding the rate or the rate of change when we plotted our first point here and then we plotted our second point here our x coordinate changed from negative 4 to negative 6 and now y coordinate changed from 7 to negative 4 so you, so the slope formula will represent that change right here okay remember how i was saying rise over run well if you think about it when you're plotting these points the rise is change in the y location or the y coordinate because the rise if you think about it it's up and down and the run is change in the x coordinates and as you know the x coordinates go from left to run uh, from left to right all right so the slope formula the slope formula let me do this in black the slope formula is rise over run which is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so rise okay going from 7 to negative 4 and run going from negative 4 to negative 6 okay so when we plug these numbers in to our formula we're going to find what the slope is so let's go back to our previous page so let's let's do this um example right here hold on let me try to figure this out. I'm going to all right. So here we go. So our slope formula. So y two is negative four. Y one is seven. So rise over run. So negative four minus 7 divided by x2 this is our x2 so that's negative 6 negative 6 minus negative 4 so I'm going to put that negative 4 in parentheses negative 4 okay that's equals to negative 7 negative 7 negative 4 minus 7 is 
what? Negative 11 divided by negative 6, negative, negative 4. So that's negative 6 plus 4. That is what? Negative 2. So our slope for this first problem is 11 halves. Okay, and if we were to write this in in a fact in a decimal uh, point, then that would be. Let me get my calculator here. So eleven divided by two. That is five and a half. So our slope is five and a half. It's a positive number because we have two neg negatives. Okay. So there you go. Our slope for the first set of ordered pairs is five and a half.